today is give you guys a credit repair cheat or a credit repair hack like no other, right? So I'm gonna show you how to leverage artificial intelligence, chat GPT, to analyze your credit report for you or analyze an account for you and create a list of all of the things that are inaccurate with that account that you can use to dispute the account and get it removed from your credit report. Because again, like the Fair Credit Reporting Act mandates, in order for something to be deleted from your credit report, that item of information or that account has to either be inaccurate, incomplete, or unverifiable. We're not dealing with unverifiable right now. Like we're gonna deal with incomplete and inaccuracies, right? Incompletions and inaccuracies. Um, because that's what we can see on this credit report. Just from looking at it myself, I can see some inaccurate things and I see some incomplete data, especially with the payment history. Um, so if we were to analyze this credit report ourselves and then put it into Chad GPT and have it do its own thing, we would wanna see like kind of how, how well you know either of us are able to analyze it right how well we did compared to how well chat gpt did um so i have a new chat open right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this particular account this is a jp morgan chase credit card account right that uh was charged off apparently and um says it was sent to collection so we're going to take all the data right we're going to copy this and we're going to come to chat gpt and we're gonna, uh, we can either, so I like to just paste it in, or you know, first, and then I take my cursor back to the top, and then I have to give it the command to create a list of, create a list of all of the inaccurate, So I said, create a list of all of the inaccurate discrepancies reported on this account between TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. All right, so we're gonna hit enter and see what it spits out for us. All right, look, based on the information provided, here's a list of inaccurate discrepancies reporting with this account. So as you can see, it's listed Right, so we can say, uh, it says account number. The account number is partially redacted differently in each credit bureau, making it difficult to match the account accurately. Right, account type, TransUnion reports the account as a flexible spending credit card, while Experian reports it as credit card. Equifax does not provide this detail. Right, account status, TransUnion and Experian uh, report the account as paid, while Equifax reports it as derogatory. There is a discrepancy in the account status among the bureaus. Right, next is the credit limit. Right, TransUnion and Experian report a credit limit of 5,000, while Equifax reports a credit limit of zero. There's a discrepancy in the report reported credit limit. Right, the payment status. Um, all three credit bureaus uh, report the account as collection charge off. There's no discrepancy in the payment status. Right, so uh, it, 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 it obviously let us know that there's no discrepancy there. Um, which is pretty, which is okay. That's not what we asked for necessarily, but hey, they gave it to us, right? Last reported date. The last reported date differs among the bureaus, right? Um, TransUnion reports it as that, uh, you know, May 18, 2021, um, Experian as uh, May 31st, and then Equifax is May 1st. Uh, date last active. The date last active is reported as April 29th in TransUnion, uh, May 1st in Experian, and uh, so with that September 1st in Equifax, right? Date last active, the date of, oh, excuse me, of last payment. Date of last payment is reported as 429 in TransUnion, Experian, and Experian, but, uh, you know, September 1st in Equifax. There's a discrepancy in the date. The two-year payment history. The payment history uh, for the account varies among the, the bureaus for different months and years, indicating discrepancies in the reported 
payment history, right? The comment section provides various details about the account status, including payment after charge off collection, settled for less um, balance and more. While the comments are similar among the bureaus, the wording may differ slightly. So you see how it breaks it down, you know, each thing. So you could go through each negative account that you have, ask ChatGPT to analyze it, and, and you can choose which um, inaccuracy you want to use for that particular month to dispute with which, whichever bureau, right? Because some of these uh, wouldn't work for each bureau, right? So you would have to kind of pick and choose because some bureaus have the same information. One might have something different. You want to try to find, you know, whatever you can use for each bureau. But this is what ChatGPT can help you do. It can help you kind of filter through, um, you know, the inaccuracies according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, right? Um, and we could have put that in here too, based on the information provided, uh, or excuse me, we could have said, um, create a list of all the inaccurate discrepancies reported on this account in violation of the Fair Credit Reporting Act between Equifax, TransUnion, and, Tra and blah, 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 blah. But th that, that, that's what these are. These are all violations of the Fair Credit Reporting Act because it's, it's, it's inaccurate, right? It's, you know, if it's inaccurate or incomplete, right, there's discrepancies, inconsistencies between the Bureau's data and reporting, then that means somewhere along the lines of, you know, with the Metro 2 reporting, you know, stuff was going wrong, which is a violation of the Fair Credit Reporting Act um, uh, maximum accuracy clause, right? So that's how you would do this. Um, I hope this helps some of you guys. Drop a comment below. Um, make sure you check out the links that are in the description. If you need credit help, reach out to me um, and we'll, we'll get you going. I'll help you out. All right. So catch y'all on the next video.